So we've taken the old headlight out. Now we're gonna remove the headlight mounting assembly um, and put a new headlight bowl, I used to call them, although this as discussed in the earlier but isn't a bowl really because there's nothing at the back. So I've coloured the screws we need to remove in with the nice orange pen. Obviously on your car they won't be orange, only a sort of rusty orange. So let's whip these out. So there we go, self tapper there. Second one there. Note to self, let the orange paint dry on the screws before you go to take them out. And you get orange paint on your hands. So, there we go. So that is the headlight, that's the other part of the headlight mount. So if we go over to the workbench now, So there we go, and so this is actually two parts here, you've got a rubber seal, although I'm not really quite sure what, what you're sealing against, because um, it's open at the back. Okay, and this is the new headlight bowl assembly we've got. So it comes complete, so you've got a new rubber seal for the back, you've got the new clamp ring at the front, and you've got some fitting kit bits here. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab our new headlight, which we've got here. Okay, so here's the new headlight, so it's the, again, the right-hand drive. So as you look at the pattern, I don't know if you're able to see it there on the camera, hopefully you can, you'll see that the right-hand drive one is, it's, it's pretty much straight on the right-hand side, but you've got this kick down on the left, which translates to, uh, as, as you're looking at, which translates as you're driving the car to a kick up on the left. Okay, so that's that. And then we've got the seal here, and it comes fitted with a, a blank in the for the headlight bulb, but we'll leave that in for now. Okay, so we need to mount the light in here. Now, one thing you'll notice is that on, on earlier series models, you can bring the, the wiring through the hole here because you've got bullet connectors, but on the later Defender models, there's no bullet connectors. The loom seems to be in one piece. So what we do need to do is drill an access hole, okay? Now, if we familiar ourselves with this a bit, the top, that's the top adjuster screw. This is the left right adjuster screw. So those two adjuster screws, which you can see at the side there, you can see which ones the adjuster screws are because they've got this little groove in. They need to be in the 12 o'clock and 9 o'clock positions there. Now, where the cable comes in on the car, let's go and have a look at that. We need to drill an access hole to get the plug through. So we just zip over here. Okay. So you'll notice the cable's not really that long, and it comes in from the from the bottom left-hand corner. So we're going to drill a hole roughly at the eight o'clock position for this cable to come through. Okay. So again, so this is twelve o'clock. This is nine o'clock. So we're going to drill a hole here about the eight o'clock position, fairly near the rear. Okay, it's a bit cross looking this. We've got a 32 millimeter, you got that in the camera there, Tom. I don't know if they're better see that. 32 millimeter blade bit here. Obviously, be careful when you put that in there. Probably go a bit faster than that. Check a bit. Ok, 
Okay. We'll just clean that up now with a knife. We're doing it quickly, but we can make a slightly neater job. I hope. Take a bit more time. Okay. Okay. So we've got a hole there now to pass the the wire. Okay. Through. So now we're going to take the front ring off. So to do that, the easiest way is to this screw here at the d -d 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 four o'clock position here actually screws solid, and that's the one that the actually, it pivots about on the when you're doing the up, down, left, right adjusters. There we go. Let me. Okay. So there we go. There's the. Sorry, the workbench is a mess here. So there's the, the screw we've taken out. And that allows now that front assembly to come off. Okay. And then what we can do is, okay, we'll put the we'll put the bulb in this one. Okay. So again, we've got one of these spring clips. It's slightly different to the other one. Okay. And we can put that out of the way. Throw the blank away. Let me just grab the bulb back in a second. So again, don't touch the don't touch the bulb. But the big tab on the bulb goes at the top, like so, and then these clips, it sits in there nicely. Let me just get that right. Those clips go either side, okay, and then we can push those down, okay, and that's the bulb seated. Check it is seated properly, because otherwise your beam focus will be out, okay. So if you're having problems with beam focus, just make sure that's properly seated in there, okay. Right, and now we're ready to. Um, in fact, what now would be a good time to to go and mount this back in the car. So we're going to grab the seal now in the in the kit with these. Okay, don't lose that screw we've just taken out. We do get a new. Okay, a new kit. Okay, of fitting parts. So it's these nice big stainless steel screws. You can see there they're stainless, okay, that we need. So we're going to grab four of those and we're going to go and put put this back in. So we've got, we've got that one, we've got the rubber seal, okay, right, we'll meet you back over. Okay, so let's just, one thing you'll notice is that the old hole at the top has got a, well, we've got no need for that, so in our efforts to try and minimise the moisture ingress. We're just putting a little bit of tape over that one. Okay. Again, it it, it doesn't really matter because they're they're open to the elements. It's just a question of trying to minimise that a little bit. Okay. So if we now pass the electrical connector up through into the back of the, and you can now see that's a lot more protected. Okay. So we've got the rubber seal on. Okay. We've aligned our two adjuster screws, which are all our reference points at the nine o'clock and 12 o'clock positions and now we're ready to fit the new stainless screws there okay into those four holes and they don't look badly lined up there do they Tom? No, nope, they look okay. Okay. So I get the first one and don't do it too tight until you've got the others in. Alright, once we get another one in opposite we'll be okay. So again, if you're just changing the headlights, you don't need to go through this, but um, often there's, there's bits missing or the adjusters are broken, So, I, and I think it's worth fitting this bowl. So now you can see it's a much better environment in there.